Hello everyone, in today's video I am back for the second week's cash stuffing of October. So this is for week number two of October. If you guys have missed the first week's cash stuffing of October, I will link it in the icon above. But in today's video, we are stuffing a total of $1,390. So let's go ahead and get this money counted. We will get organized and we'll get stuffing. Alrighty, y'all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 70, 96, 10, 30, 50, 70, 97, 10, 30, 50, 70, 98, 10, 30, 50, 70, 99, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1010, 30, 50, 70, 90, 11, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 12, 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. So $1,390. Now we're not stuffing all of that into my envelopes. Some of that will be going towards future income, but we'll get to that here shortly. That's kind of what that means right there. Uh, let's see what's happening. Today is Tuesday in my time and I am flying out to Boston tomorrow. So I'm really trying to get this video filmed, uploaded, filmed, edited, and uploaded for you guys by, by tonight. And it's already like six o'clock. So Wish me luck. I really hope that I get it done and upload it for you that we all can watch it on Sunday. If not, it'll be out next week, but that is my tentative plan right now. I hope that looks good for you guys. Uh, I did get my nails done this past weekend. I really, really love them. I think she did a great job on them. This is exactly what I wanted. Just in time for Halloween, I will be going to Salem while I am in Boston. I will be going to either New Hampshire or Vermont. I haven't decided, but we want to do a little day trip to one of those. Uh, but yeah, that's why I got these done. They look really, really cute. Let's go ahead and get into bills though. Let's get started. Starting off with rent. Rent this week is getting $275. So let's do 200s. Do I have a 10? Let's see. I do. So let's do 285 instead. Put that 10 back. So that's 280 and 5. Let me double count that just to make sure. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 85. Yep, 285. Let's go ahead and get this envelope counted. Right now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 12, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 13, 10, 30, 50, 75. So $1,375 now in rent. Next up is subscriptions. This is getting at $10 this week. So let's go ahead and just put a $10 bill in here. Subscriptions now has 50, 70, 90, $105. In a cell phone, I'm gonna put $25. So let's do a 20, oops, 20 and a five. Cell phone now has one, 200, 20, 40, 60, 75, $275 in there. Electric is getting $35 this week. Let's put this back into 45. So 20, 40, and five. That brings electric now to 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 235 now in electric. Child care is getting 70. So let's put this back and we'll do 80 instead. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80. That brings child care now to 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, $340 now in child care. Internet is getting 10. So let's 
go ahead and just put a $10 bill in here. Internet now has 50, 70, 90, 105 dollars. In dental insurance, I'm gonna throw five bucks in here. Let's go ahead and put this five back and I'll just grab a 10. That brings dental insurance to 20, 40, 50 dollars. Health insurance is gonna get 10. So let's go ahead and throw a $10 bill in here. It now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 dollars. In investing, I'm gonna put $100 in here. So let's go ahead and do 20s. So five 20s going into investing. 20, 40, 60, 80, one. 10, 20, That brings investing now to one, 50, 70, 90, to 10, 30, 55. So $255. Now this is currently being used for my vacations, so I do have a lot going on this month. Um, I'm going to Boston tomorrow, as I said. I get back Monday. So I'm going Wednesday, getting back on Monday. I'm working Tuesday. And then I have to pack up and go to a wedding Wednesday through Friday. So I have a lot of stuff going on. This is going to go towards my Boston trip. And then some of this money that I'm taking out is going to go towards future income for that wedding. But yeah, lots of stuff. 255 now and investing to go towards the Boston trip. Okay, so $540 went into bills. Let's move on to cash envelopes. Let's go ahead and take out any fives and ones first. I think I do have some ones. Let's see. We have two out of personal spending. Let me write that down. We don't have any fives. And we'll throw those in that challenge later. Okay, gas is still good this week. Um, I did just fill up today, so I'm going to use this money at the end of this week. But groceries, I'm going to go ahead and put 75 in. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 70, and then five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So 20, 40, 60, 70, one, two, three, four, five. 75 now in groceries. I did just make it back from the grocery store. I needed to pick up some stuff for my boyfriend and my son while I'm gone. It is a sister trip for me, so my sister and I are going. I'm really, really excited. I've always wanted to go to Salem. That's what I'm most excited about, so I'll let you guys know how it was. $25 going into spending, so we'll do a 20 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five, and 20 makes 25. Let's see, 25 also going into date night. So a 20 and a five. Date night now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 75. $175 now in there. This envelope is for my boyfriend and I just to do some fun stuff, go to dinner, go to a movie, things like that. Sam's Club is gonna get $3 and that's just to make this envelope even. Let me grab this one two and three. Sam's Club now has 20, one, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five dollars now in Sam's Club. We are skipping over Zora. Oh my gosh y'all. So my boyfriend sent me a picture yesterday while I was shopping of our two geckos. Now I've mentioned this in the past. We have two leopard geckos. That's what this envelope is for. One of them's name is Zora. That's the first one we got. She's a girl. The second one we got is a boy. We didn't know that initially because it's really hard to tell their, their gender whenever they're really young. Turns out he was a boy and our female gecko ended up getting into our male gecko's tank yesterday or overnight, uh, the other night. And um, so we're I'm so nervous that they are going to make little gecko babies. But I'll keep you updated about the gecko situation. Fingers crossed that... Nothing happened, and then we're going to keep them apart, and it's going to be fine, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, Zora is getting skipped. Tithes is going to get $10, so I'm going to pop this 10 up here, and I'm going to grab a 20 instead. So 20 is now in tithes. 
Miscellaneous is going to get uh, nothing. Sorry. The $1 challenge is going to get these $2 here. I'm just going to pop these in here. I will be counting this at the end of the year. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see how much I end up saving in my challenges. I have this one. I have the $5 challenge. So $138 it went into cash envelopes, which leaves $448 remaining for sinking funds. I am going to go ahead and roll for my Saveopoly challenge. Wrong binder. So in my long-term sinking fund, a binder is where I keep my Saveopoly challenge. Super fun challenge. I really love uh, doing this one. I've done this two years in a row now, and I probably will do it next year as well. We were on save 20 last week. Now I should be able to do, I think, almost any of these spaces. So let me get my die out. We're going to roll and see how much we end up putting in this week. Okay, going into Saveopoly this week is two. So one, two is save 25. So half of what I budgeted, and let me write that down, put $25 into my Saveopoly challenge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, throw a 20 and a five in here. And then I do need to figure out where I wanna put this other money. So I'm gonna put this in here, give me one second, and I will go ahead and allocate the rest of these funds. All right, y'all, so I decided that I actually wanna put that extra $25 towards future income. So what I'm gonna do is I have some money set aside here. I'm gonna put this alongside that. Now this is money, this is just leftover money that I got for my birthday, and it's gonna go into my vacation account because I wanna spend it. This, this trip to Boston is my birthday trip, so I'm going to put that in vacation and then I'm going to put this at the end of the stuffing into the income envelope. So I'm going to put that off to the side as well. But let's go ahead and stay in my long-term sinking fund binder. Let's flip over to emergency fund. This is one of my other challenges. It's getting $23. So we'll do a 20 and three ones. So one, two, and three. And that brings emergency fund now to... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, forty, fifty, one, two, three. Nine hundred and fifty-three dollars now in emergency fund. We're getting super close to a thousand dollars in this envelope, which means I would be able to do a placeholder in my bill swapping cash unstuffing. And Roth, I'm gonna go ahead and put $125. So let's do this one of these hundreds. And then what do we got here. Um 125. Let me grab a hundred, a 20, and a five, and then I'll switch out these fives. Okay, really quickly, I'm going to put two of these fives back and grab a 10, and then I'll count this envelope. Okay. Now in Roth is 1, 2, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 95, 10, 5, 25. So $3,525 now in Roth, which means I do get to do a $500 placeholder in the cash and stuff for October, which is super exciting. Next up is my son's envelope. This is the boy's envelope. He's getting $25. So let's do a 20 and a five, 20 and five. That brings his envelope now to one, two, 3,000, one, 50, 70, 90, two, 10, two, 15, two, 20, one, two, three, four, five. So $3,225 now in his envelope. I really hope my counting is correct. I feel like it's off. I feel like it's been off this entire stuffing. I really hope that whenever I look back and I'm on my edit that I did not just mess up all these counts. But uh, let's go ahead and get into my long-term sinking fund binder. I mean, my short-term sinking fund binder. I'm so sorry, y'all. My mind is just, I'm just scattered right now. I have so much stuff to do before I leave tomorrow. I still have to pack. I still have to finish my laundry. I am preparing some dinners for my, my guys. So... Just trying to get focused and get things done. In Christmas, I'm going to go ahead and put $25 as always. So we'll do a 20 and a 5. That brings Christmas now to 
150 dollars now in Christmas. In let's see, vacation. We're skipping over medical expenses. A vacation. I'm gonna put a hundred dollars, and then I'm gonna throw this money in there as well. Again, that is from my birthday money. So I'm gonna put this in there, and then this should be two hundred as well. One fifty, seventy, ninety, two hundred. Also going into vacation, and then let's get this counted. So this is gonna be money that I will be spending on my trip to Boston. So this is just spending money. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty-eight, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, nine hundred dollars to go towards spending, which is plenty of money. That should mean that I should have some uh, leftover whenever I get back, and that'll go towards my next vacation, which is going to be in Paris and London. Super nervous, um, just kind of based on what I've been hearing in the news, but that is where we're going in January. So that leftover will be going towards that vacation. Okay, up next is clothing. I'm gonna put $25 in here. So let me do a 20 and let me do, let me do a five. So 25 now in there. I'm really hoping that all of the bed bugs that are apparently overseas are just gonna die throughout the winter. And by January, we'll be good. That's what I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. Skipping through the next ones, I'm going to go to, uh, to car insurance. This is going to get $50. It's going to get that $50 bill. So $50. Car insurance now has one, two, three, four, four fifty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety-five, five hundred dollars now in car insurance. Okay, and then lastly in this binder is back to school. No, it's not. It's sports and clubs. Sports and clubs. My son is in a karate uh, class, so we pay for that monthly. This is going towards that. $25. Let's do 25 and 15 makes 40. So let's do $40 instead. 20, 40. 25, 15, 40. Sports and Clubs now has $20, $40, dollars in there. Okay. So with this remaining money, as I mentioned, it will be going towards future income. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I am going to grab my income folder or envelope. Alrighty, y'all. So I kind of organized this a little bit better for y'all, but this is my vacation funds envelope. So this is the money that I've accumulated over the past few, I guess, weeks to a month, couple months maybe. So I am a server, which means that I don't get paid time off. And what I have to do instead is I work kind of like overtime where I work double shifts before my trip. And then I um, accumulate that money into the income for whenever I'm gone. So that's what this is. It currently has $886 in it. So I think that's 289 bucks up there. Let me get that counted really quick just to make sure. So 120. 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Yes, $289. Now, $114 would make this 1000 So I'm going to put the entire amount that should bring this to $1,175 of income. But let me just make sure this will be for next week's income. Again, for, well, I guess... It'll be for the rest of this week into next week next week's income. But let me go ahead and count it really quickly. I thought that I would need more change. I do not, but that's totally fine. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, 900. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, perfect. So $1,175. I will be stuffing this for next week. So for week number three of October. So if you guys want to see how I distribute this income or how I budget this, definitely stay tuned for next week's cash stuffing. All right, y'all, that does it for the second week's cash stuffing of October. Again, if you have any Boston recommendations, any Salem recommendations, please, please, please drop them down below because I will be looking over that before I leave. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a like down below. But I will see you next week for the third week's cash stuffing of October. Thank you guys so much. Bye.